We've come to Luxembourg to visit and assess a fast-changing financial centre. I'm standing here in the heart of the old city and there is much of the traditional here. This was the first financial centre in Europe to look at cross-border mutual funds seriously and to understand how they can transform savings and investments for institutions, wealthy investors and ordinary families. But things have moved on since the first USITS funds registered here invested in equities, bonds and cash to embrace derivatives and alternative assets. Now Luxembourg has made big leaps into the spheres of responsible investing and private equity. With fund managers looking to shift some operations around the continent after Brexit, we will look at the persuasive story the Grand Duchy has to tell Europe's traditional financial industry. So please join me as we shine our spotlight on Luxembourg. This is the very nerve centre of Luxembourg's 4 trillion euro funds industry. We're here to speak to Denise Voss, chairman of Alfie, Luxembourg's funds association. We'll speak to her about innovations, about opportunities, and threats. And let's not forget about Brexit. Will the financial jobs go to Paris, to Frankfurt, or here to Luxembourg? It's not surprising that they're talking about Luxembourg because Luxembourg is the second largest fund center in the world. Luxembourg is the hub for global distribution of USITS investment funds. So it's, it's quite natural that it is a result of, of Brexit. Um, asset managers that need to find a solution to Brexit, i.e need to or want to continue serving investors in Europe that they need a home and and Luxembourg is already a home for many of them so it's, it's quite natural that uh, that uh, they would be coming to Luxembourg and increasing their footprint in, in either setting up new business in Luxembourg or increasing their footprint in Luxembourg in part as a result of Brexit in Luxembourg we've actually been quite active in in the sustainable finance ESG responsible investing space since 2006 and it's not just the younger generation, it's also very important to institutional investors in Europe, such as pension funds and the like. So that means that as an industry, we need to be, make sure that we, we, are, we are actually incorporating sustainable finance and ESG concepts into our investment frameworks, because that's what investors are demanding. Again, those institutional investors today and the young um, investors um, of the very soon future. And last year, you passed the 4 trillion euro mark for assets under management. Do you have another milestone <laughs> that, you're, that you're aiming at to, to pass in the next few years? Um, I'd say in terms of milestones, um, I don't have a, a specific number out there, but alternative investment funds are certainly a type of investment uh, or, or a group of investment strategies that are very popular and, and I think that um, you know, Luxembourg represents about 11% of assets under management in alternative investment funds in Europe. And I think that you know, certainly if we can increase to 20% of the, the total, that would be a, a bit, definitely a milestone. So Luxembourg has a role to play there by showing that the financial industry can be a source of good rather than just um, a system that takes high charges for investors for uh, mediocre returns? I certainly hope so, yes. <laughs> no, we, we definitely need to explain what we do, what is our value proposition, if you will, and we need to explain it. I mean, financial education is obviously vitally important. I think we, as an, as an association, as an industry, can encourage governments to make sure that financial education is, is, uh, is, in, is in school curriculums. Um, investor education is something that we can actually do ourselves. So again, we need to explain um, what we do, why we do it, and in an easily understandable way without jargon. So that's something we need to do much more work on.